Sunday guys so we've got our uh, well I'm gonna show you my weekly meal prep and today we're doing an Asian chicken risol that's oven baked with cauliflower mash and zucchini noodles that's gonna be my lunch this week um, and then we're gonna do some crunchy muesli cookies and I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, five-minute mayonnaise in a jar so so simple and some chia pudding with a twist so Let's get into it. made up some containers with the uh, cauliflower mash and the zucchini noodles and now I'm going to divide out my rissoles and I'm done. That'll be my lunches for the week. So we've got them all served up and I calculated for a five meals, it cost me about $15, $16 so it works out to be about $3.50 a serve for lunch for all of that. So I think that's pretty awesome. So for morning tea this week I'm making a crunchy muesli cookie. And I'm gonna double the recipe so I can give half to hubby and then half to it's basically like an Anzac cookie with an addition of some dried fruit and nuts. Ingredients here, I just have to add the golden syrup and the bicarb mixture. 
I'm going to pop that all in there. I'll give it a mix up and then put it on trays um, and pop it in the oven. one but these are for hubby and the kids lunches and work etc throughout the week but yep yum so i promised chia pudding with a twist so instead of just plain chia pudding i'm going to do like a bircher muesli style chia pudding uh it'll be gluten free dairy free and refined sugar free so it's going to be delicious though so let's get to making it So just to recap, we've got our muesli cookies, um, my Asian chicken meatballs with zucchini noodles and cauliflower mash, which are all packaged ready to go for my lunches this week. Uh, my bircher muesli chia pudding in the week. My five minute mayo in a jar, the perfect addition to any fridge. And last but not least, I just boiled some eggs um, for snacks this week. So there you go guys, that's my meal prep for the week. I hope I got some inspiration. If there's something that you wanna add or some ideas, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, I'll see you next week, bye.